Wisconsin native finally received recognition for his service and sacrifice in the military 80 years later. Chloe Morrissey has you covered on why it took so long for Albert Knox to be recognized and the perseverance it took from his family. The small isle of Wake Island was attacked the day after Pearl Harbor. It was home to hundreds of Marines and over 1,100 civilian workers like Albert Knox of Cuba City. It was too painful of what went on. Knox was among contracted workers held captive on the island by the Japanese. A year later, he was sent to Japan to build the Sasebo Soto Dam. Men there endured beatings and were deprived of food and water. During the winter, Knox made a blanket out of clothes to keep warm. He was punished for this, put into solitary confinement in near zero degree temperatures, and later died on January 15, 1944. After the war, the war crimes trial came up and Mr. Knox's name, I have a document that has him listed on there 30 times in nine pages. Because Knox was technically a military contractor and not an enlisted soldier, he never received any honors for his service. Mike Schaefer, Knox's great nephew, had been turned down many times trying to get Knox's name honored with medals, being told his great uncle didn't qualify. I said, well, what do you mean he doesn't qualify? Well, he wasn't a, a veteran. It wasn't until 1981 that veteran status was given to the civilians of Wake Island. And now, Albert Knox is being honored. Mike accepted the Purple Heart and Prisoner of War medals in his great uncle's honor. It's very humbling to receive the, the honor that I, I received for my great uncle. Uh, it, it just means the world to me. For now, the medals will be displayed in Schaefer's home right next to a World War I propeller and a picture of his grandfather, Albert Knox's brother. Schaefer says Knox's name is already etched into a veteran's memorial in Cuba City, and it's on a war memorial for those who took part in building the Sasebo Soto Dam in Japan.